I felt the air rise up and kneel down and tear the stone of the lens. I wonder how well you can see inside the shell I wait simply. I felt the air rise up and me kneel down and tear the stone of the lens. I wonder how well you can see inside the shell I wait simply. Hello people the outside world and today we are going to be talking about the FNAF movie. I will go over my thoughts on the movie but this video will be more so about my experience overall rather than just reviewing the movie kind of similar to my Mario movie review. But I will still be going over my opinion on it. One last thing before we get started I'm going to go light on using footage from the movie for the remainder of the video since I'm already on pretty thin ice in the great big copyright lake for that intro I made. So I'll just use footage from the FNAF movie game aka Freddy in Space 3. But anyways let's get into it. At my theater the movie was showing on the 26th but I had a cross country race that day so I made plans to go the following day. In prior, I invited several people because some I initially invited said they couldn't go, but then it turned out they could go, so I ended up going with a huge group of people of about seven. We decided that we were all going to meet up at a McDonald's in the same plaza as the theater, which was three miles away from my house, which I ended up jogging the entirety of. Once everyone arrived, we all headed to Winn-Dixie to get snacks for us during the movie, and after we finished there, we started walking towards the theater, and we saw two other kids from our school, and they had an entire box of hugs. We dumped all the hugs into one kid's backpack. After our hug shenanigans, we proceeded into the theater, were greeted by even more upperclassmen from our school. My Bonnie plush got a picture of one of them. It slowly began to sink in that there weren't going to be very many adults in the cinema, which held up because we got our tickets and all sat down, and there were only two older men that may have been grandparents of the kids that accompanied them. During the previews, a lot of people in the theater were messing around and being loud, which in my opinion was fine, but then and it persisted into the movie itself, so one of my friends and I got up and moved to the front of the theater, which is about the time it's just a theory. happened, which came out of nowhere and got a big reaction from the audience. Despite most of the audience being noisy throughout, they did react to the spring lock scene and the credits were the loudest of all. So I left the theater pretty happy about the movie and then did this. <laughs> and then ran three miles back home. The following two days, I rewatched the movie from home and replayed the spring lock scene too many times to count. I guess now is about the time I actually go over what I think of the movie though. And... I don't think I'm gonna say anything unique here. The movie spent a lot of time on Mike's dream sequences and while it was a nice idea, I would have preferred more time with the animatronics and or Afton since they were definitely lacking in screen time. I think the acting is mostly good although I will admit the spring lock scene is a little goofy sounding but I still love it anyways. The references and cameos weren't overwhelming and were really good. It's a shame Mark couldn't be in the intro sequence but that really just means he'll get a part in the second movie since that's literally what the director of the movie said. I just hope that the sequel is actually a prequel and stars Matthew Lillard and then having the third movie be a follow up to the first but ample flashbacks would probably work too. I I just really want to see this version of William's motives and his overall descent into madness. I like Mike and Abby of course, but I just think Afton's story is essential to this adaptation since we don't really get a clue into the why of the murders besides he's crazy. Whatever FNAF 2 ends up being, I'm sure it'll be good in the hands of this film's team. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. This video is really an excuse to make that intro sequence to be honest. So I'm excited for Help Wanted 2 and here's something Owen requested. This goes out to Greggy. Freddy Fazbear's here to rock. Jerky cheese can suck my cock, cause we're awesome. We're double line, yeah, we're awesome. Now it's part of the time, so come hey, on. Man. Freddy Froze Day's taking the mic. Alrighty! Roxy's looking good all night. I'm the best! Chicken and shakes, so yeah! Mountie is Rock and awesome. roll! Yeah. 